back in the kitchen with Nikki Gardner to finish up our winter salad, our sunny, sunny, winter, sunny salad. winter salad, which yes. looks great so far. Let's jump right in. So okay. we're gonna, you're going to show us how to get the pomegranate seeds out of the pomegranate. Yes. So basically, you can either cut it in half from top to bottom mm -hmm. and cut it into quarters and soak the quarters in water. Folds oh, the pomegranate back easier. and let the seeds kind of gently fall out, and then you can. I never eat pomegranates because I just pull get the rest frustrated. Out. Yeah, it, it's, it's very, a lot of work. That's for a so fruit. much. It's here. intensive, it's but so it's so good for you. It has lots of vitamin C, potassium. It's worth it. All right. And then this side, this is a new way. I'm trying this out. You're supposed to <laughs> hit it onto the Impressive. counter, and then you can sort of carve it out. I find this to be a lot easier that's because it. you're still going to get sprayed. Mm, yeah, yeah, right. That's exactly. more fun. This though. is like a tension reliever. You yeah. can try it. Once. It okay. is more fun. I know you really want to. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know? Okay, so now she's going to do that. We got to make this dressing. Right. So we quickly. need two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Okay. And, and this is the honey that. mustard. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we so have about a dressing. we have about a minute left, but we're going to show everyone at home that you can make this recipe in a minute. Okay. So what else goes in it? Six tablespoons. Six. So of yeah, two oil. of red wine vinegar, six of the olive oil. One, two, just keep two. going. And meanwhile, we have everything else in the salad together. We so, have the walnuts, the so mint. Walnuts, toasty or roasted quinoa, mint, you said? Mint, yes. Oh, oh nice. Some so fennel, good. some of the fennel fronds. Uh, we have the pomegranate seeds. We're going to dress it with the honey mustard dressing, okay. and we're going to top it off with the blood orange is this Perfect. Going wheels. Yes, so that's honey? the honey. That's honey. This is pomegranate. Does that go in? Uh, no, but you could put it in. Yeah, why not? Let's mix, mix it up a little bit. <laughs> and here's garlic. So this is, um, um I like there we your go. flexibility. They're going to yeah, Nikki, and a half you of go garlic. with the flow. <laughs> yeah, was, this is That's what about. cooking's all about. Yeah. Okay. And all we right. need about a teaspoon of the mustard, Dijon mustard. All right. We'll Give it about a honey spoon. There you go. Or you can just put it, it just in. squirt it. We're all having fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's not enough. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And I'm going to cut this up while you're doing that. Yes, whisk it. And so you want to whisk it until the dressing all comes together. What I like to do is put it in a jar. This is the secret weapon. Yeah. Shake it. <laughs> How long does something like that stay good for, a dressing like this? Um, I would say probably a couple days in the refrigerator. Three oh, to cool. five. I like okay. the pomegranate seeds in here. I think it's a great touch. Yeah, it's, it's very nice bright. Stuff. You can call the salad the Seth now. <laughs> probably the mass appeal. Because, for the yes, Nikki, because it's really her right. salad. And it's so a good looking salad. We're going to dress it. It's great. All right. We're just going to pour it all on. Sounds I mean, good to that me. is good for you, too. Look at everything. It that's has in lots there. of protein. It has iron from the kale, protein from the quinoa. Quinoa is the highest grain in protein. All it right. has vitamins A, C, potassium, calcium, phosphorus. So it's packed. And the worst packed. thing for you in this salad is probably the olive oil, but even that has really great properties in it. It does. So. And it's very and it's filling. Small, right? And it's filling. I don't think I could ever get sick of that. I can't I wait for I the commercial time to eat it. Right. And so you want enough dressing to make uh, the leaves uh, slick enough. So they're, you're not just eating they're them coated. raw. They're That's coated. True. And then at the end, you're going to. And these are blood dress oranges. It with the blood oranges, and then you can add a little more mint and a little more fennel. If there are a little pinch of pomegranates in there too, why not? Yeah, and no. a little more. <laughs> hey, there we go. Mikki, <laughs> hey, thank you so much. Yeah, 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 yeah get in on the fun. Salad. <laughs> happy sunny winter day. Thank yes, you. Yes, happy too. sunny winter day. And for this. Welcome back to Masculine. So just because it's winter, we don't have to stop eating healthy salads. And today we're joined by writer, cook, and photographer Nikki Garden and Nikki Gardner, and we're making a sunny winter days salad. Thank you so much for yeah, joining hi, us. Yeah, thanks for being here. I love all these ingredients, but some of them I don't know what they are. It's a lot of different greens today. Yes, we have a lot of green garden vegetables. So this is frise. Okay. And it's a member of the chicory family, and so is this, and this is radicchio. So, frise and radicchio. Yes, and they're both a uh, slightly bitter green, and so they give a little bit of that oomph to the salad. Um, now, what's it similar like a, to? Like, like an a bro broccoli rabe? We oh, had a yeah, we have broccoli rabe. Yeah, a little bit. Or an arugula, and, kind of? Yeah, of and kind of a cabbage, too. So, okay. sort of a mix. And they That's seem like they're all dense vegetables. Someone last week was talking to us about nutrient-dense vegetables. Yes, they are very nutrient-dense. Perfect. That's true. Um, this is the Tuscan kale, so it's an heirloom variety of Italian kale. Mm -hmm. And this is a fennel bulb and the fennel fronds. And you can use the actual leaves of the fronds as garnish in the salad. So you can cut some of these up just as oh, you would neat. like dill wheat. Uh -huh. um, and that just gives that sweet anise flavor. It's much mm -hmm. subtler than actual anise seeds. So, so it has a little sweetness It's a different to kind it. of flavor in your salad. Yes. When you're dealing with something like this, what part is edible? What part do you throw away? I never know. Right. So let's start with this. Yes, then. please do, because I don't know. And so this salad is very, as you said, it's very nutrient dense. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of vitamin A, um, vitamin C. So we're going to take the tops off okay. the fennel, and then we're going to cut it in half. 
Oh, so this is the part that we're using. Yes, the bulb. So any. See, if you were to ask me, I would have said use this part. Looks like an herb, right? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what we we'll use. So any parts that kind of look discolored or mm -hmm. not so good, just toss them. Toss them and peel. All right. Oh, it's so fragrant. I can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like black licorice, right? Yeah. It is like black licorice. The anise, right? Yeah. Right, but it tastes, it's but so it's much very subtler. Subtle. Yeah, it's, it's almost so, like a refreshing. Yeah, and mm. so like a cabbage, it has a core. So you want to so cut the core So you want to try that? Sure. So you can either do it, if you're daring, you can do it on the <laughs> round, wobbly end, or you can go around. Your, is, your <laughs> way is much better than my way. And make kind of a triangle. Yeah, my way's harder. Right, and so when you finish that part and you mm -hmm. kind of carve it out, uh, we can take it along okay. the short end, widthwise, and just do thin slivers. And we're gonna eat all of these greens are going to be raw in the salad. Okay, so we're not cooked, because there are cooked elements to the salad, but we're not cooking anything ourselves. Right, so we're going to have cooked chickpeas in the salad, okay. and we're gonna have cooked quinoa. Mm. And you can easily swap the grain and the beans out for other of your favorites. You could use whatever beans, beans you have in the cabinet. Right, you could use, um, like the white beans, you could use uh, quinoa pasta, you could use, it's just pretty much whatever suits your fancy, really. <laughs> now the free, the frise, is that what you call it? What is it called? Yes, the free say, did yeah, I say the it feathery. Right? Is, I've never seen that in the grocery store. Is that something that you can actually buy at the grocery store in the produce? Yes, section? so this, <laughs> yes. This, yeah, okay, well that's good to I go. didn't know, you I've never seen grow it. it, so <laughs> you don't have to can grow I it. find it? You can. Um, just so, ask the grocer for free say. <laughs> right. Free say. This actually uh, came from Whole Foods. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure. Now in the pot we're boiling some water and that's for our quinoa, right? Yes, so we should start that. So what we need to do is put two cups of water in the pot, bring it to a boil. You need to rinse one cup of quinoa. It's important to rinse it because it has a waxy substance called saponin on it. Um, it just protects the grain and usually keeps sort of the birds away. Um, so you need to rinse it off or else it will taste bitter. Oh, uh -huh. no wonder my quinoa's always tasted bitter. Really? <laughs> yep, I've never rinsed it off, not Isn't once. Isn't it good that you work on Mass Appeal <laughs> stuff? The things you learn, I learn right? Things. And now this can't be treated like a pasta. It's more like a rice in the sense that right. the water that you put in is going to be perfectly absorbed by yes. the quinoa, leaving so, you with nothing left. That's right. So basically, we want to bring it back to a boil, cover it, and then turn it down to a low simmer for 20 minutes. So now, in terms of constructing the salad, so far it seems like we have a finished one here and we're putting all of the different ingredients into it. Yes, so here we have uh, the Tuscan kale already cut up and this okay. is what it looks like. If you want to try so green. to cut some up. I like that. Sure. So basically going to take the rib out of the center. Gotcha. So down the length. Yes. And then we're going to cut it um, widthwise into thin ribbons. Into thin ribbons? Yeah, kind of like a chiffonade. As you oh, would say. Chiffonade. So, you know what that means, Seth. I have no idea. <laughs> yes, yeah, we've chiffonade. We've chiffonade before. Yeah, with uh, we'll go this way. Greg Manette, we've chiffonade. What did we uh, chiffonade? Basil, maybe? I think we chiffonade basil. It's a word that's always fun to say. I love it. I'm going to name my next pet chiffonade. That's, that's a good pet name. <laughs> that's a good name, see? So, Nikki, we'll be back in a few with you because okay. we have to finish the salad, but also there's this dressing, and the recipe just looks amazing, so I can't wait for you to make Great. it for us. Thank you. So, we will be back with Nikki a little bit later in the show to finish up this recipe.